If you're looking for a portable and professional podcast setup that you could take on the go, on the road, that could fit in a case like this, or even a backpack like this, then watch this video because I'm gonna be breaking down this setup that we use to shoot dozens and dozens of interviews a year at conferences and events. And it produces really high quality conversations and podcasts. And so let's break it down and go straight into it with the first thing being the camera setup. The camera that we recommend and the one I recommend and absolutely love is the Sony FX30. This is a crop sensored camera, but my favorite thing about this camera is number one, it shoots 4K high quality video. Number two, it has no record limit. So if you're shooting conversations that go well over 30, 45 hour long conversations, you can record as long as you want. And what's also cool about this camera is it has internal fans keeping it cool while it's being used. And so you never have to worry about it overheating mid conversation, love it. Also love the tally lights. There's lights on the camera that even when you're in front of it, you could see that they're on to know that the camera is recording. For the lens, there's a few options you can go with. The one we went with for this trip in particular, but I would say there's two to consider. The first one being the Sigma 30 millimeter lens. This lens is a very lightweight, small lens and affordable, but it gives you that super blurry background. And what's cool about lenses like this, quite honestly, is that you don't necessarily need lighting. Like straight up, you can just find an area with good natural lighting, and so you don't have to pack a light, which is awesome. If you want something that is maybe more tight or more compressed, the Sigma 56 millimeter gives you a nice medium tight shot. You also don't want the cameras to be too far away because people can walk in front of the camera and things like that. So that's a camera and lens combination. This camera right now is on a Ulanzi Ombra tripod. This is about a $70 tripod. And I think the best thing about this tripod, honestly, is that you could screw off the head of the tripod and then pack this tripod into a backpack. And being able to pack up a tripod, and it's also super lightweight, is awesome because you need a tripod uh, to hold up the camera, and so that's really nice. So this camera alone does have decent battery life. It'll last a good while, but what's nice, we have these extra V-mount batteries, and I've added a, a little string here to hang it off the tripod, but these give the camera a lot more juice. You want the least amount of things to worry about when using a setup like this, and so just plugging this into the camera you're definitely gonna get hours and hours of recording. We probably recorded, I don't know, four hours worth of content uh, today, and we still have plenty of batteries, so it's pretty sweet. So that covers the camera, set up the tripod, the battery. Now let's talk about audio. So we're talking about podcasting, right? But if you buy the FX30 with the top handle, which is a couple hundred dollars more than the getting the camera just by itself, it's gonna allow you to plug in mics like this. So this is the Shure, SM58, it's about a $100 microphone, and this mic sounds amazing, especially when you're in scenarios that you don't really have control over the audio uh, treatment, right? Ideally, you, you definitely wanna find an area that isn't too loud. Ideally, you wanna find an area that isn't too echoey, but what's cool about this microphone is it will reduce the amount of noise coming around the microphone or outside of the microphone and really just give you that nice rich radio podcast sound. And so I even shot an interview in the middle of a hallway because it was like the best lighting. We were able to get some cool chairs and it still sounded really good. Did it sound like there was people and noises in the background? Sure, but it still sounded really good with who was talking on the microphone. Matter of fact, let's jump to a clip from that conversation I had with Myron Golden here at VidSummit. In order to build a successful business, you need to get good at sales. Yes. So selling is not talking people into buying something they don't want, don't need, and can't afford. Right. Selling is making something available to people that they've been looking for anyway. Right. And you just uncover, I've got this thing you value. And when they value your transformation, the transformation of your product, your service, your opportunity, when they value that more than they value the money, then the money is it's, it's easy to pay the money. As you notice, you can hear a little bit of natural sound, but it's okay. We're at an event, it's kind of the vibe, but it doesn't take away from the audio experience and you can always do some things in post. Another thing that I probably forgot to mention was that I have two of these camera setups, right? So I have two FX30s with the two lenses and the way you use that is on you, you can get creative as far as the positioning. 
I personally like to just leave one camera on one speaker and leave the other camera on another. And this allows me in post to have two different angles. But another option you can do, something that Kyle has done with Sean Cannell, is that he'll keep one camera on a wide shot, having two people in it, and then he'll pan with the other camera or just leave it on the person that's being interviewed. One uh, solution I would encourage you with is maybe if you didn't want to travel with something like this, you can actually get the Rode Wireless Pro, which is uh, a mic like what I'm using right now. Look, it's super small and compact. And this will have a receiver that goes into the camera from up here. And it'll be a super lean setup. But what's cool about this setup is it comes with lav mics. So you don't have to hold the mic. Uh, you can literally just clip it onto your shirt. And the beautiful thing about this mic kit, which comes in at around $400, is it's discreet. It's very, you don't really see it. Um, but it also records a very high quality audio file on the device itself. So if somebody is loud and the other person is low, it's gonna it's gonna retain that information. If you ever struggled with somebody just like screaming or laughing on you know in the audio, it's not gonna allow it to peak, and so you can really salvage a lot of audio whether it's too low or too high. So that is your Rode Wireless Pro. Personally, we like using these handheld mics because they cut out a lot of that audio sound. But that's kind of the breakdown of the setup. All this packs into either a Peak Design 30L backpack. Uh, and by the way, I'll post links to everything down in the description below. But it also fits in a, a case, and we'll link up that case as well that it fits in. So depending on how you want to travel, you could pack it into this setup. If you're looking to get your first thousand subscribers or make your first $1,000 on YouTube, then join our free YouTube challenge that many other small creators have joined and seen tons of success. During this free challenge, Sean is gonna share some of the best strategies for growing to your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, as well as making your first $1,000. Just go to tube1kchallenge.com or check the link down in the description. Now, when it comes to lighting, here are some tips when it comes to lighting, because we don't necessarily travel with a light. The first thing I would say is to use a window. You know, having natural light coming into a space is kind of better than actually using artificial lighting. It just, there's something about natural lighting. It's bright, it's airy, uh, and it looks really good. And if you don't have access to that, I would encourage you to find and be resourceful. Maybe there are, you know, lights around a space, you know, in our case, right here, literally right now, I'm using a light that I found, and we've done this before. We'll see lights not being used. Uh, maybe it's in a room, maybe it's a booth at your event and they have lights that they can totally use or that you can ask to use and then uh, you know, use that as a light. Because in this space right here, you know, there wasn't a lot of uh, traction and a lot of people walking around, which was cool, but there was no light. So I wanted to get something on us so it could look a little bit better. But that is the travel podcast setup. This is what we do to create high quality podcasts here at Think Media. And I hope you got value in this video. If you want to check out another video from us here at Think Media, click or tap the screen. I'll see you in a future one. Peace.